Hey, this is Kirk Hilliard. And it's Rusty Bird. It's the Kirk and Bird Show. And we are joined today uh, by a very special guest. I've been, I'm so happy to get this young lady on. We, we have Brentsville District's finest. We have Alden Yergi of Brentsville District Girls Basketball. Welcome to the show, Alden. Thank you. I'm excited. Thanks for having me. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is going to be great for, for all of our fans out there that don't know. She is a beast uh, in basketball. Like, so just so you, just a couple of things you should probably know if you don't already. She's a four time All State player. She has been district player and region player of the year. She led her team this year in her senior year to Brentsfield District's best season ever. And that school's been around a while. In, girls high school basketball they made it to the state championship game where they lost but they lost to the defending state champion but i think the best part of the season is them beating their arch rival meridian um in the semifinals and that was just amazing so much fun we'll talk more about that and she's also uh, a division one signee with sienna university welcome to the show again this is going to be fun thank you thank you so much Oh, yeah. Kirk, why don't you tell folks where they can find us and where they can help Alden get the most views in Kirk and Bird history? Uh, yeah. If you're, on, you're watching this on YouTube, just hit subscribe. Uh, to subscribe, you need to be authenticated, signed in through uh, Google or Facebook or have a YouTube account. And then look up the Kirk and Bird. We're on the Kirk and Bird Show. We are on all social media platforms. We do a lot of good stuff on Twitter. Uh, a lot of updates, a lot of scores, uh, things like that. So definitely check us out. Brentsville District, we know you watch, but we wanted to get you to, to sign up. And, uh, you know, one thing I was thinking of, Alden, uh, as I was driving home to interview, there was a huge event this weekend uh, down in Hampton at Blue Williams uh, Sportsplex. Gino Ariyama was there. Don Staley was there. A mm -hmm. uh, bunch of people. That, that was the big East Coast. Or uh, was that a national event, Alden? Um, I believe it was just the Boo Williams tournament. I think I'm pretty sure it's the same one that I played in last year. Yeah. Um, are you excited? Are you excited to go to see? And I would think you're starting to get a little bit of senioritis, you know, late April. But tell us about that uh, Sienna commitment. And uh, I know, Rusty, you want to talk about some recruitment and how that is, because it's a really popular now. But tell us about um, signing with uh, Sienna and being excited about playing in the, uh, is it Mac? In a conference. Yeah. So first of all, the senioritis kicked in the beginning of the year. Right. <laughs> uh, I got a whole bunch of tardies, but that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> I'm super excited to go to go up there. Uh, I'd leave now if I could. I think my report date is June 23rd. Um, but I'm I really can't wait. I can't wait. The summers up there, even though it is cold, the summers are nice. And I'm just excited to meet all my teammates just just have that atmosphere just have to work out every day and i i, I really can't wait it's gonna be fun mm -hmm. um one of the things we talked about before we started recording is that's a great conference i mean you've got iona marist mount st mary's um among others um it's a great conference for women's basketball what um what made you commit there can you talk about why you committed there and then about just the recruiting process in general, because it's so different now. Yeah. So there were a lot of factors that went into my commitment. Um, obviously the school is beautiful. The community, they're big in basketball. Um, because like you said, or like we talked about earlier, there's, there's not a pro team up there. So like the colleges are the big, uh, the big like sporting events that everybody goes to. So everybody is super supportive of the team. Um, and and it, there's a lot of parallels to Brentsville, I would say, just in terms of the smaller community, um, how everybody really wants to see you succeed, just stuff like that. But and there were a lot of schools that I liked, but ultimately, like what it came down to was I wanted to go somewhere that I knew we'd be winning because um, I'm the, I know this this may not be healthy I may need people told me I need to work on this <laughs> but if I'm not winning games like I'm not a happy person like I'm grumpy like I'm just not I'm just not myself so we need to be winning games like for my like 
sake, my health. Yes, uh, so <laughs> I feel you. It's, <laughs> Love it's it. I still to... am bitter about some games I lost. And I'm, I'm not talking about in high school. I mean, like, my men's flag football games from, yeah, from like, no. 10, 15 years ago. Seriously. We're still like, oh. But go ahead. <laughs> you, you hate, you're one of those that hates losing more than you like winning. Is that safe to say? <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, um, but Coach Jaber, the coach up there, he's, he just has a really a phenomenal track record. Um, and he's just proven time and time again at all the schools he's coached at that he can win. Um, so that's that was like the what pushed the decision over the edge, I would say, mm -hmm. is just that I see us winning. Schools that you also considered, um, Alton? So my I considered Loyola, Maryland was up there. Um, mm -hmm that they were kind of my top two. Um, I had Western Michigan, Boston, um, Navy was up there, mm -hmm. Radford, um, just some of the schools like that. I really liked Western Michigan. I also really like Boston. Um, yeah. But yeah. Well, let's, go out. let's go back a little bit now. That's where you, you, you kind of stay in today and we're just looking forward. But let's go back. Let's go back. Um, and before we talk about this past season, let's go back to how did you get started playing basketball? And, and is that the, was that the, the first and the only sport you played or did you start with soccer or, or, or just what, is it a family basketball tradition? How did you get started? Yeah, so I love telling this story, but growing up, I played, I played soccer for one day and I, I quit. I don't <laughs> know what it was. I, I think I cried. I was little. I think I cried. I don't know. It just was not for me. Um, but for a I didn't know. Years, okay, let me just say. I thought you were going to be the kid that played soccer, and you dominated and pushed everybody around and <laughs> no. burned all that energy. And then they say, "Oh, what other sports can we try?" <laughs> okay, but go ahead. I, I get Far, that too. Farthest thing from that. Um, but I played flag football, um, okay. and like and like and the elementary school, some middle school. Um, I played tennis a little bit. I played t-ball when I was like five. Um, but so basketball came around. I was in second grade and I went to Noakesville Elementary School, which was super small. Um, mm -hmm. And they had, they had this league and it was just four teams, four teams of like eight kids, or whatever. And it was second and third graders. And like everybody was playing. Everybody, if you were cool, you were like playing basketball. So me, of course, being the coolest second grader there was, <laughs> I had to play. So my mom signed me up. Um, I was just playing around. It was co-ed, so I was just playing around with all my friends. And I sucked. Like, I don't think I scored the whole, like, season. There was, like, eight games. I didn't score a bucket. I sucked. But I just – it was so much fun. And then we had a basketball hoop outside. I would come home after school and just shoot around. Just – even though I, I was – god awful it was just so much fun and i would just i would set up cones do little drills and then next year i came back i was in third grade and that is where i just i just killed i was the best like you would have thought well i thought i was the best third grader there was like um and i'm obviously exaggerating i probably scored like four points you know <laughs> but anyway i i improved and so that's that's what got me like hooked addicted yeah. is that I improved so yeah. um I just from that point on I just kept playing and I kind of fell in love with it that is, oh that's cool I was just gonna say when a kid knows they're good at something that is a huge draw when other people tell them they're good and things like that it, it whatever it is in life it always feels good for other people to say uh mm -hmm. good and then as well as you know performing well um what can, other can I can I ask you something? I just want to did you have any siblings that you played against, older or younger, or or, or were you the only one in the family that that, that like was attracted and, and liked basketball that much? Um my brother played, I have an older brother, he's two years older than me, and he played, um, but he he was a runner, so it wasn't really his thing, but we would yeah. I mean I, I I can never remember it ending well. We always get in a fight, but I remember us playing <laughs> Okay. So. All right, cool. So you do have an older brother. Mm -hmm. And I, I know uh, as in the oldest brother in my family, like when that younger sibling is, is like mine, who's a, just a couple, mine is just two years behind me. Like I dragged him 
everywhere. And so he played whatever I was playing and mm -hmm. my friends didn't care that he was younger. And, 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 and it, it, I, I would like to think it did make him a little tougher and because we used to beat up on them and, and we played football in the neighborhood, basketball, baseball. But my brother, uh, we football was really big in, in Hampton. And my brother ended up being taller than me. I still say I'm a better football player, but he was all state, played at Virginia Tech, played pro football. But I'd like to think it's because he I made him better and tougher. Mm. So us right. older brothers, we, yeah. we do that. You're responsible for that. So <laughs> Did you keep playing in leagues though? How, I mean, how established girls basketball nowadays though, there there's middle school leagues, but elementary school leagues, I didn't know about that, but I'm sure they're out there. Tell us more about that. Right. So this was just like a small school thing. And I believe in like, after that third grade season, um, like my parents were like, maybe she needs like a little bit more. If she's, if she really wants to like take this a little bit more seriously. And again, I was in third grade. So I don't know how serious you can take it, um, but I like I just wanted to keep playing. So then they put me in GBA and I played there for two years. And then I went to GBA travel, um, played with them for a couple of years. And then from there on, I was in middle school and then like I got on the AAU kind of trend and just went from there. Right. Do you, um, Alda, do you play any other sports? Not right now. What about basketball? But the four, the whole four years, it's just been basketball in high school. Yeah, I, I tried. I wanted to play tennis, um, but I just never had the time. You know, Rusty, I was just thinking when we were coming up, which by the way was um, thirty-five years ago, and we were in second grade forty-five years ago. <laughs> a lot. Uh, it seemed like all the good girls basketball players played softball. I just remember that, Rusty. That was one of the big things. So. Well, I one of the things also, and I, I, it, how soon, how long did it take for you to, to just play with all girls? Did you start out playing? And because I, I coach, so I, I, she grew up here. Um, did, did you know Kendall Dudley? Mm -hmm. I yes. played with her. Like she was my teammate last summer. Okay. Yeah. So Kendall, um, her, her and my daughter were, were like best friends in elementary. My, my her mom, Tamika, uh, coached at Woodbridge and, and uh, my wife worked at Woodbridge for years. And so um, Kendall was also, also played soccer with my daughter. Uh, but then I, I coached uh, Kendall on um, an Eastern, a boys league, but you'd have a few girls on each team. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know of any, are there any youth, all girls teams? Were you able to find that or did you find yourself a, a playing mostly uh, co-ed and then not get to all girls teams till maybe AAU? So GBA was all girls. Um, okay. But I, I mean, I kept playing like on the play, playground and stuff. I would still, um, it would be co-ed. So. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, um, so shameless plug, we have an interview with Tamika Dudley last year. She was the Naismith um, coach of the year nationally. And then we also uh, Alden and, girls basketball fans we have an interview with nikki reed geckler who went to high school with me she's the associate head good coach at georgetown nikki told us that she could she had to play with boys up until like oh, high school it was high school until yeah. high school yeah you yeah. think about playing with boys because that brings to mind a couple of points but that whole thing with girls playing against boys in basketball yeah no for sure i think it's super important just because I mean, a lot of people sh like shy away from this, don't like to speak on it, but there is a difference in athleticism between girls and boys. Maybe not so much at that age, but once you get into high school, um, the, a lot of them are just faster and stronger. You know, there are some exceptions. There are some boys who I can like probably bench more than, but anyways. Um, <laughs> Me and Rusty. So I, <laughs> I think it's super important. Um, and I think it's changed now, like you said, there's a lot more like girls co-ed teams at a younger age, but now when I go to train or when I go, like when I, during COVID, I played a ton of pickup and it was all, it was all guys. Um, and it helped me a lot adjust just to prepare me. I think the biggest thing is going to help me prepare for the speed of the college game. Um, like when I'm training, I have to, mm -hmm. there's shorter windows to make decisions. Um, mm -hmm. 
So I think there's a lot of benefits and I wish, I wish more people would, would just more girls would just try to seek out guys to play with, to help get them better. Now I, I do know, maybe, like you said, maybe the guys are taller or maybe physically a little, you know, bigger or stronger, but I will tell you this, the one thing that it does not matter in it's male or female is shooting. And I will, you can light it up. And, yeah. and, 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 and um, I, I have noticed, again, I've been refereeing basketball for 20 plus years. The, the women, I hate when people say, oh, they're just more fundamental. No, they just, they can just flat out play a lot of times. And a lot of, it's not the fundamentals, but it's just like they, you can tell they worked on their craft, especially mm-hmm. with shooting. Um, and so how, I, and you are a great three-point shooter. What I would like to do up now, I don't want to do it now because I don't want you to get hurt, but one day I want you and I to go to a, um, to a, a court out here in, um, in Prince William County. And, you know, I'm the old guy. I'll warm up and I'll just be shooting and I'll look old. And then, you know, when, when some people are probably say, oh, let me, I'll pick. And then I'll go, oh, I'll take her. And you act like you, you just miss all your layups <laughs> in the beginning. And then we just take their money, okay? <laughs> we just take their money. I, I, look, I, I, I'm left-handed, I, and, but I, I, can't, I can't really play anymore because I'm old, but I used to be able to take anybody going left. I'll do the fake and throw it to you, and eventually they might figure out that they got to check you, but by the end, it's too late, and we'll just take every, and we'll go on. It'll be like um, um, white men can't jump, but we'll just go around court to court, and we'll just clean up. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> So, Alden, are you going to play combo, a combo guard at the next level? Because you're five nine. That's you know, everybody gets taller in college. But are are you going to play? Because I saw you playing a lot of two guard. Are you going to play with point or uh, two or combo? Right. So most likely combo. Um, Coach Jaber, he's he's big on his like positionless offense, um, where like his he just wants five like hoopers on the floor um he at times he has like two point guards three point guards um whatever five is gelling and um his offense is really designed to um just put people like just basketball players regardless of position in the best um situation to score so I mean I think combo I would say okay I, I was watching um I was watching your huddle and what I noticed is uh you get a lot of steals. You're uh, crafty in the way you steal uh, your steals. And then um, really good court vision, too. Um, seeing things. Honestly, I, I watched you on tape, and you were seeing things that most high school girls don't see. You were seeing it play ahead of time and things like that. But, um, you know, it was nice. Um, what do you think you need to work on going to the next level? Because everybody's better and almost – Every single person that you play against was the best team, best player on their high school team. Right. No, for sure. Um, there's a lot of things. The biggest, one of my biggest focuses right now is finishing off two feet in the paint. Um, in the past, I've been able to just rely on my speed and sort of glide past defenders. Um, but I think at the next level, they're going to be just as fast or just as strong and a lot of, in a lot of cases, stronger and taller. So I'm going to be able to, I'm going to need to be able to finish off two feet and kind of just sort of be crafty and punt fakes and stuff like that. Um, and then I also think I need to work on my defense um, a lot, my lateral quickness, work on my angles and stuff like that. And then honestly, everything else needs to take a step up as well. Right. Absolutely. So for for the, let me, for those who haven't seen you play, is there anyone that you would describe your game um, modeling? And I'm going to tell you, uh, in my opinion, Alden is the the uh, Caitlin Clark of high school basketball. Like Woo! if you haven't seen her play, that's 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 a I good comparison. And I'm telling you, dog, that's a like, compliment. I would take that. Legit. That's how legit. Uh, now, 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 somebody, you, you may, may think something else or other people may, but that would be my comparison, you know, on the high school level. That's how you dominated. And I thought your game mimicked. But what do you think? Because you yeah. got crazy range. Um, so just what do you think? So first of all, I, I, I definitely I appreciate that comparison. I think it's a little 
I don't know, far-fetched, but um, I appreciate it. Uh, if I had to compare Let my- me tell you who doesn't think that's far-fetched. All the teams you played against the last four years. I don't think it's far-fetched. <laughs> Hold on, I don't think the it's coaches, far-fetched. As they, think... Prepared, as they prepared to play against you, that's what they were thinking. Uh, I, think you're, I think your game is very similar also. Well, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Um, oh, I think I would- Again, this is like far fetched, but I think my style of play is similar to Chelsea Gray um, okay. on the okay. Las Vegas Aces. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a point guard, and she she can just she's really good at creating her own shot. Um, just off the dribble, she can pull up in anybody's faces, and she's just a shot maker. So I mean, I try to model my game somewhat after her. I guess still a long ways to go though. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, um, do you follow men's basketball or the NBA? Um, do you, mm-hmm. do you, do you, if I said, um, uh, LeBron James, I guess you've heard of him. Of course. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm just messing with you. But I'm Dylan, Le- Brooks. Dylan, Dylan Brooks. Brooks, Dylan Brooks. Okay. So I need you to do me a favor. I'm going to talk to the athletic director at Sienna and I want to get Sienna against Iowa. I need you to be the Dylan Brooks with Caitlin. I just want you to talk a smack and say, you you know, you're old. Your game is like, you no, you've been here already four years. I'm the new young gun freshman. Like you're old, Caitlin. If your story's you're oh. out of here, get out of here. I want you to do that on the college level. We are going, we got to get that game. Okay. Be- do you talk trash? Hold on. Do you talk trash? Because some people, it pumps them up to talk trash. Are you a trash talker? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes, he is. It, it just comes out. I can't help it. All right. Share share, share some fit for TV uh, uh, viewing audience. Share some things that you might say. Um, Just, just like the general, you can't guard me, stuff like that. Uh, I'll call a lot of people slow. I'll call, I, I'll say like wait all night, all night, making those. But it's okay. it's not like I I don't think I'm like some people just do it overboard every chance they get. I'm right. I'm right. I'm definitely subtle. Like you won't see me get in anybody's face. I'll just like kind of say it under my breath as I walk by. Um, I'll point. Oh no, I'd say my biggest like form of trash talk is like visual. Like I'll point. I'll hit a three in your face and then I'll point. Yes, yeah. Ooh. But I saw you do something against Meridian one time, right near the end. You hit a shot and then you did something like this. Oh, oh, maybe. No, <laughs> <laughs> no I was never, that, I and never, then I and then Iowa was watching the game. <laughs> and and it, <laughs> yeah, no, she like, got that from me. She, she got, got that, that from, from you, me. right? Yeah, yeah. I'll do if I fall on the ground. If I get like fouled hard and I like fall on my stomach, I'll like do some push ups. Oh, just to, like, yes. let them know. Like it doesn't phase yes. me, but I like that. So, um, Alden, you guys at Brentsville had a great senior year. We've had uh, Coach Delaney on twice on uh, the Kirk and Bird show. Tell us a little bit about what a great year it was and talk about your teammates and your coach. And uh, I know it was a special year. You fell short, but you lost to an incredible Carroll County team that's a uh, multi-state championship. But tell us about the the special senior season that you had with um, Brentsville. Yeah, um, so it was great. I really wouldn't have wanted, um, like, I couldn't have asked for a much better senior season. You know, it was Coach, um, we call it Coach Kayla, um, but it was Coach Kayla's first um, season as a head coach and with us. And I just can't say enough about how how amazing it was to have her just see her like she was just so energetic every day at practice. And, and from the jump, she just drilled into our head um, how much she believes in us and, and how she believed we could um, win state championships. So um, but it was just great. I think what I'll remember most is just how. um how much adversity this team had to go through this season um with injuries like we had personal stuff going on it was just so much but I think that all had to happen in order for us to have the success that we had so yeah I couldn't have asked for a better senior season um it was super fun and it was a although we lost I think it was a solid way um to go out 
Oh yeah, you, and what I thought was great, and, and the look, the, the you 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 led that team to the Seagull Center, like you made it to states, like the finals. I mean, you can't you you. The only thing you could have done different is win. But I thought this, like that's the unfortunate part. Some, sometimes about losing the state championship is that you feel like you know, I lost, and that's tough. But um, uh, it's just amazing to you know that's when you look back in retrospect, you you, were, you guys were really appreciated. You you okay. you were part of history like that. You guys will always have the memory of what you went through together. But that you know there there's going to be in the history books of Brentsville, you know the runner up, state runner up, and, and just to be a part of that, I think is extremely special. Um, and then just you know that that time together, and then like I said, beating. Um, your rival. T tell us about what it was like over the last four years against Meridian. Man, it was. Because I, I no, so they weren't always Meridian. They used to be George Mason. Is that what it, George Mason and Falls Church? That's used to be George Mason school. High School, right? Right near West yeah. Falls Church Metro. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so oh, I remember the first time we ever played to them was my freshman year. We lost by two, and I was like, okay, like this team, like we'll get them next time. And then I don't remember what it was after that, but I remember my sophomore year and junior year, they beat us by 20, 30 points. And it was, it was so frustrating. Um, I spent so much like mental energy. I spent so much time watching Meridian film. Like it's, it's insane. I lost sleep over them. Um, so yeah, for the first, um, for the, the four years up until that last game, it was, it was, it was tough. Meridian definitely had a, a whole section in my brain occupied, you could say. Uh -huh. So I know it, it had to be, you know, fun to, to, I mean, just exciting just to beat them and not just beat them because they had beaten you all, all, all of this past season. They'd yeah. beaten you every, every three game, or, three or four, four times, times, right? Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and so you beat them when it counted. And um, that night you beat them. We were at Patriot watching Patriot play Oscar Smith, I believe. But I had, was like this. I had my phone <laughs> and all these people were around and I'm giving updates what? and everybody wanted to know. And it was, oh man, it was, it was, it was. That's something. insane. Wow. Yeah, really, yeah that really was cool. a heck of a game. Um, I remember there was so much buildup. I remember I was nervous before, um, but that game, that's definitely top. I'd say definitely top one game of my um, high school career, not like performance wise, but just everything that mm -hmm. went into it, um, how yeah. connected, like all five of us that were on the floor, like at all times we were so connected. Um, it was super fun. Cool. So, so let me ask you this. You um, you've played there, you played for, and you talked about how great coach Kayla was this year. You played for a father the previous three years, Coach Baltimore. Mm -hmm. um, tell, tell us about, you know, what was it this, this, the, the, about this year that Coach Kayla brought that, that might have been a little different than her father, Coach Baltimore? Because she was on the bench. Um, and she told mm -hmm. us some things, you know, once she got that opportunity to be the head coach, kind of what, what she did and what she brought. But, but from you guys, and she told us, like, you, that you all wanted her to, to be the coach. You know, t tell us about, you know, first learning that Coach Baltimore would, would, would step down, but then that, 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 you know, that who would be your next coach? What was that like? Yeah, so when um, Coach Balt stepped down, I was honestly a little bit shocked, but in the same sense, I kind of saw it coming. Um, we had, we had a, a conversation and, like, we both, like, understood where each other were coming from. Um, so... I, I definitely understood. And then when I found out Kayla was our next coach, I was super excited. Um, I think I talked to her that day and she told us like, she's just going to be hard on us. Like that's, that's the bottom line because she believes in us so much. Mm -hmm. And um, she definitely, one of the things she brought to the table every day was energy. You know, she, um, she had, she always brought her little kids to, to practice and they'd be running around screaming. And I feel like that energy would just, like seep us into us all and we'd all work really hard um but yeah she definitely focused a lot on instilling belief in everyone like not just in me like everybody else she was like you need to step up 
you need to step up and I know you can do it. Um, so, yeah. And now you're the all-time leading scorer at, at Brinsfield, right? No, I, I'm not. I was, I think by like a hundred. Oh, yeah. really? Wow. Yeah. Okay. All right. But you did pass Coach Kayla, right? I, I know she's, yeah. she scored uh, over a thousand points. Okay. Mm-hmm. What did you right. finish with, Alden? What did you finish with? Points. Um, 1600 something, I believe. Man, that's awesome. Wow. Yeah. wow. The leading then, score had 1742. So, but you were also hurt some this year. You missed a couple of games, right? I missed one game. Yeah. You missed one game, but then you weren't your 100% for a lot of the season. Yeah. Right? My yeah. minutes definitely in the games we would, we, we knew we'd win. My minutes were pretty low. So. Now, I, when, when Coach Kayla was a, a, an assistant last year, the year before, and even this year, does she still, did she ever, did she ever play with you guys? Does she still have a game? Cause she's young. Um, I'd say yes, she played with us. I would. I don't know about if she still has her game. Um, <laughs> she 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 played with us in practice. Um, and she was solid. I mean, she did what she was supposed to do. I mean, she never scored on me. Um, yes. Every time she was guarding me, I'd blow by her. So I mean, she yeah, she played with us. I knew okay. I knew she was a, a solid player when she was in high school, but you know. Okay. All right. I hear you. Okay. Good stuff. Good stuff. You hear that? You hear that coach? All right. I think, um, so this is what we're going to do, coach Kayla. We'll let her go off to school. And then 10 years after that, y'all play. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I'm still picking me. I'm just saying. Okay. Oh, okay. But yeah. All right. That's uh, I, and, and Kirk, I know you, you want to ask a question, but I do have one last question. Um, you, you, you know, you, I, without a doubt, to me, you were the, the, the best player in Prince William County. And, and I think it, and, and one of the best in all of the state of Virginia um, and definitely in the DMV. Um, but w- was the, were you ever tempted to tr- transfer to maybe one of the local class six schools uh, or were you being recruited by any of the private schools uh so like wca schools like uh paul the six or any of those and we were you recruited or was that ever uh something you considered yeah so it was definitely considered um all of middle most of middle school i played aau under coach kelly from lp um Mm -hmm. so there was a lot of back and forth whether i should go there um and then pretty much after every season like i consider um like what my future would look like at a bigger school or maybe like, you know, a private school. Um, but at the end of the day, it always just came back to, I want to play with my family. Um, I want to play with these coaches. So, so yeah, but it definitely, I definitely thought about it here and there. Okay, cool. Yeah. I know Middleburg Academy used to uh, emphasize girls basketball. They were a powerhouse for a while. And a lot of young ladies from like, all over the metro area would go there. But uh, it is interesting that when you start talking about public schools, so much has changed now. When we were in high school, you never went to another public school. I mean, you you, you were born and bred, and it, always it was a big deal to go to um, another public school. So uh, yeah. what we want to do now is transition a little bit and have some fun, like try to be youthful again. It's been 35 years since we were uh, – high school seniors. And, um, I've got, a, I've got a senior, we both have seniors this year, our sons, but, um, why don't you tell us a little bit about your musical taste? And this is a big peek into your character. So okay, <laughs> high expectations here. Um, so I think it depends on like the, the mood, the situation where I'm driving to, you know, if mm-hmm. I'm driving to a workout, a game, it'll be, it'll be Drake, J Cole, Kendrick Lamar if it's like some future um if I'm just if I'm driving home from a workout and it's like nighttime it'll be like a lot of SZA um stuff sort of in that genre and then I also I'm a big Adele fan I think I'm the greatest in the world at pretending I can sing I cannot (laughs) sing at all but like I believe that I can. So Adele's, I feel like the perfect just sing along artist. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll listen to a little bit of everything. Not huge on country, um, yeah. but I'll listen to most anything. 
That's okay. I knew four of the artists you just named. Like, <laughs> getting hipper, man. Yeah. That's good stuff. Okay. Uh, um, so that's cool. And, and Kirk, Kirk is, of course, uh, old school rap. But but is there anything, Kirk, that you like that's current? Uh, that's hard to say. Uh, you know, young Jeezy's 20 years old. So um, I like to tell she's current. Uh, but as far as rap goes, um, you know, I've had a lot of guys our age, Rusty, tell us that Kendrick Lamar, Chance the Rapper, uh, we would like that. I, I'm still trying to, to get to that level. But Alder, what music of your parents do you like? Because we like music from our parents, you know, uh, old uh, Motown, R&B, 60s hits, things like that. What music? I I'm anxious to see. Because if you tell us their music, I'll be able to tell you how old they are. <laughs> yeah. So my dad listens to like a lot of classic rock. Um, I don't know how many artists I could name. Um, okay. Like, oh, the Eagles. I, I know he listens to them. Um, and then my mom, she also listens to a little bit of everything. She really likes um, the Grateful Dead. And I uh, she listens to a lot of like 70s, 80s, like hip hop and rap as well. So. What about Madonna? I used to love Madonna uh, growing up. Um, I mean, see, what, what, what else? What, uh, I, Duran Duran. Oh, it's just uh, I, I, in, in, in rap. I, I was a big rap fan of and still am. It's, it's different. I, we everybody thinks their era of music is the best, but I we we grew up when rap actually started. Um, okay, all right. So for me, music it's mostly now gospel or old school rap. The only current musical artist that I um, I like, I found it like I'm not a fan, but I like certain songs of like Bruno Mars. Oh, he's um, incredible. He's incredible. Yeah, I, I like a couple of his songs. I like Lil Dicky. Um, I don't know if you watch Dave, but I, I like Lil Dicky. <laughs> uh, then, and then um, just, you know, I guess it, the, the other people are just old. So Jay-Z and all that. All right, all right. So that's cool, that's cool. I, I know for me, and you mentioned like in the car, for years, not just in high school, but even as I played flag football, like I, again, our mutual friend Russell and I, we would go. We 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 played flag, and we would go. Our teams would go to the state tournaments and national uh, things. But we would, especially when we leave our hotels at the state tournaments, we pumped up Run DMC. Like that was just our thing. It always got us hyped before the games. Um, so I, I get you. I feel you. All right. I I got a question for you. So we, you you clearly know your stuff, but do you have um, who would you say are your favorite um, basketball players? It, they could be male, they could be yeah, female, yeah. but who would be your Mount Rushmore, your top four uh, basketball players of all time? Um, like my favorites or like who I think. Who do you think is the best? Who do you think are the best? Oh, oh, geez. Well, obviously I'll put Michael Jordan up there. There you go. Uh, I'll put Kobe up there. Um, you said just did you just do not a Kobe. I'm a big Laker fan, but not a Kobe. I'll let you finish. <laughs> okay, wait. Did, okay, <laughs> did you say basketball or like yeah, basketball. basketball? Okay. Um, I'll probably put this one might be controversial, but Bill Russell just because no, no. Russell at all. Okay, no. okay. okay. Just because no. you know, eleven more. Eleven. Right. You're, a, you're an old kindred spirit, by the way. You're doing well. <laughs> um, and then who else? Like probably Magic. That's what I was going to say. Magic. Thank uh, you. Now you're tracking, uh, <laughs> Kirk. Who, who? Your Mountain Rushmore, Kirk. Before uh, I have to uh, address one of Alden's. Uh, <laughs> I would say. Um, I'm changing now because I've watched more LeBron film and I'm becoming less of a fan of him. But of course, less. Like, yeah. He should be more. Man, he's so soft. He's a prima donna. Yeah, he's not. He's actually he not. Is. He's soft, man. Um, he, he gets hangnails on the court. Michael Jordan, by far the best. Um, and I would say Magic Johnson is second. A six foot nine guard with that vision and by the way he is not that athletic and he is not a great jump shooter he's just a great basketball player I, i'm going to show my age um larry bird um 
you know, being a white guy in the 80s and we had a white guy just talking trash and scoring all that. So Larry Bird would be up there. And then um, I would have to go after that with Will Chamberlain. I mean, they changed the game. They they, they did yeah. away. Dunk. That's my four. Um, and then that fifth spot, probably LeBron, probably Shaquille O'Neal. Um, there's, you know, there's a lot of great players. But I want to say this. I do realize – that the younger generation is getting so sick and tired of guys our age talking about how tough the game was and n- nobody would do this because they would get fouled hard. But here's the flip side. What young players are doing now with the way they jump, their athleticism, once you leave the floor, it is unbelievable athleticism to be doing all this stuff. People don't that don't play hoops don't realize when you leave the floor, like these dunks, like Mac McClung, that is just unbelievable to be able to uh, change your shot. And I would say that players now are more talented. They, they shoot. Well, yeah, I, they they, I, they, 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 today's player is much more athletic. They shoot, they're, they're stronger, they're faster, and they can shoot much better. Uh, I, I, I bet you could take the, person on the end of an NBA bench, if you put him in the 80s, we talk about how great players were. If you put him in the 80s, people would lose their mind and they would say, oh my gosh, he's the greatest player ever. He'd all the same. But the, but, but the whole thing, because if you, I, I, lo- I, lo- I love our era. I love my, so my favorite player of all time is Magic Johnson. But man, if I go back and look at the film, that like everybody was so slow and you didn't realize it, but that, that's just what, what you know. They, but anyway, so I, my, my four, and I know this is the you're not interviewing me, but but this is how we do the show. All right. Because I think yeah, you need to know and the audience needs to know. Um, Magic Johnson, the greatest of all time. Um, LeBron is in my top four. Um, and yet you rolled your eyes when I said magic is the greatest of all time. No, magic is the greatest. Well, I'm gonna tell I didn't you mean, I didn't mean to do that. Okay, okay. So okay, and Jordan, I have to put him there because he, he's pretty good. Um but um, my other player that I think has actually changed the game now, I, I, I think, you know, I, I will never argue with Larry Burr because he could be there. It could be Will. It could be Bill Russell. But I think to me, when I look at players that actually change the game, Steph Curry, people, I, we're, because we're living and going through it, like it used to be an argument. Okay, so let me see. There's still an argument when we talk about who's the best player, right? We're doing it now. OK, there there there's there used to be arguments about this best dunker, but nobody will argue with you if you say the greatest shooter of all time is Steph Curry. Like it's 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 a wrap. Like he's it's kind of a shooter. It's kind of blasphemous, though, that we haven't mentioned Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So. No, and, and I'm saying, yeah, Kareem, Kareem, yeah, Kareem. If you just say Kareem's the greatest player of all time, yep. he checks all the boxes like he won six championships. He won scoring titles. He won MVPs. Um, you know, uh, he changed the game. So when we talk about he changed the game with the sky hook. And, but Steph Curry, you know, what he's done for your generation of athletes, he has changed the game. When, when who was it uh, the other night? Milwaukee hit 20-some three-pointers in the game. Like, that's incredible. Like, that was more than the Lakers made in a whole season in the early 80s. So, anyway, we, we, we could keep going on. And I, the only reason I said, let me just say, my only argument against Kobe Bryant is this. It's because I'm a Laker fan, all right? I just didn't think teammate-wise, I thought he tried to emulate Michael Jordan too much, but he didn't really. I, I thought he tried to be this, I'm so focused, dude. Like, I, I hated how he broke up him and Shaq. And I thought, as a Laker fan, I thought they could have won more. But this is what my, my the way I judge the greatest is this if i had to play with some of these guys you wouldn't want to be a teammate of kobe bryant's like he, he's just that jerk michael he, jordan was a dreaded teammate right right but you i think you would enjoy playing with magic with steph curry with some other guys so that that's where i kind of that's what where, where i go alden real quick I want to do, uh, I want to ask you about your favorite teams in all sports, you know, because then we're, we're going to find out, you know, your local favorite teams. And then if anybody's got a family member from Pittsburgh, they're a Steelers fan or New York, it's the Giants or Jets. But before we do that, I just want to say for you basketball junkies, and I just came up with an idea, Rusty. We have two episodes. One is on the best basketball, boys basketball player ever in the state of Virginia. Here's a teaser. 
Allen Iverson went to his high school and he didn't put him on the first team, top five. And we also have a football one. But I wanted to ask you, Alden, who are your favorite teams? Like uh, NFL, NBA, WNBA, uh, baseball, any of those things? Yeah, um, I'll start with WNBA. Um, I'd say the, well, I'm big Mystics fan just because they're the local team. Um, but then the um, Chicago Sky also, mm. I really enjoy yeah. watching. Um, in the NBA, I mean, I feel like this always changes. Right now, I really enjoy watching the Suns and then the Kings. Mm-hmm. Um, just, I feel like I love watching De'Aaron Fox on the Kings. Just, I feel yeah. like he's a kind of a ball screen master. Um, and then college football. My mom went to Michigan. Oh, so, and she's she's one of the the hardcore Michigan fans. Oh like, yeah. Don't come in her house wearing anything Ohio State. So I think <laughs> right, I love it. By, I love it. Um, oh, by like, just by being her daughter, I have to be a, a Michigan fan. Um, so I guess there's that. I don't know. I'm not huge into the – don't watch a whole lot of NFL or baseball or hockey or anything like that. But All right, I, cool. So, so your mom is from Michigan? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. I had I had two uh neighbors uh for years right next door to me here. They're back in Michigan now, but they both graduated from Michigan and they were there with Desmond Howard and the Fab Five guys, you know. And so yeah. um was your mom around any of those? I only know her age and I could probably do the math, but did she, did she younger, recall yeah. any star athletes that she uh when she was there? Yeah, definitely. Um she's a big Juan Howard fan. Somewhere around yeah. here, I have a picture of me. He was at an AAU tournament. Um it was it was in Peach Jam when the guys were playing the same time as the girls. So he was there recruiting. Okay. Um and I got a picture with him and she was like, Oh my gosh, well, she thought it was the coolest thing. Cool, cool. All right. Yeah. Cool. So uh, that is great. Uh, now, uh, let me ask. So we have a, a, another question that's relatively new. We um we 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 I I, I, I do this with my kids and family all the time, but I, I've got to a question for you for you. If you could create your own college or university, okay, I want you to do this. Tell me, where would you put it? What would your what type of school would it be? Would it be a big university? Would it be? It's going to be private because it's your school. But then, what what uh, what sports would you play? What division? What conference? And what would the most importantly is what would be the name of the college? What would be the <laughs> colors and the mascot? If you want, you can go. If you have any thoughts, if not, I can give you some examples. But I've never, Alden, I've never heard this one. So this is new to me too. Um. Okay, the name would have to be like Alden College or Alden University. Like that. Okay. Um, okay. And it would be. Hmm. It'd be somewhere like near the water like maybe a, a lake doesn't have to be the ocean but close-ish to the beach but also close to to a big city um, what, what state yeah. what state would it be in um I'd, I'd go ahead i'd put it in new york maybe not as north as sienna but kind of like okay in between new york city and where sienna's at um the mascot that's tough I don't know. I mean, my favorite animals are dogs, so it'd be easy to say a dog, but... Golden that's Doodle? Perfect. That's what I have. The I have Golden Doodles. <laughs> oh, we used to the have all the do- Golden doodles. doodles. Yeah, I feel like dog's kind of a basic mascot, though. Um, We'll have to hold on on that. But the sports would, def- it would definitely be basketball. There'd be no football. Not because I like don't like football. Um, I think I, I really enjoy watching it, but I noticed that that's, North, school, that's a Northeastern that. school then, you know, because almost all Northeastern that's, you don't find non-football schools. Really. Being the A-10 with VCU right. and GW yeah. and does Sienna have football? No. And that's no. the okay. thing, like the schools right. that don't have football, basketball, like gets all the fans, gets yep. all the, fans. that's right. Um, And then I'd have, I'd have some other sports, but, and then what conference I'd want to put it in the ACC just because I feel like that's the biggest conference and at least on this, in this area. So. Okay. Yeah. That's tough. That's a tough question. Wait, uh, colors. Oh, um, well, my favorite color is green. So it'd be green, oh. but it'd be like, it'd be a dark green. Okay. Um, 
Michigan State. Like Michigan Michigan. I don't State. think but your mom would, would yeah, appreciate no. that. <laughs> if you have to be like a shade darker or a shade lighter, you just can't be right. a shade gray. No. Right, right. Kirk, you have any thoughts? Yeah. Um, 32,000 students, world-class engineering program, great business school, great hotel restaurant management, great sports broadcasting. Uh, colors would be orange and maroon, and they it would be in Blacksburg, Virginia. <laughs> interesting that's, okay that, that's my that is the, the the most incredible school you could ever ask for there you go okay all right so um i would for, prefer the chosen school, few. for the chosen few my school would be um probably called like you we'd go we'd refer to it more as the first thing so my real name is hudson bird the third so there would be hudson university and most people would think it would be in new york because if you watch right. all of it's the like, law and orders and any fbi any of those shows when there's a college and there's some crime it's always at hudson university which isn't a real school but but we're going to put our hudson um here i think northern virginia is prime no offense george mason but i would put it it would be like the university of maryland on the virginia side and I put it a little bit, I, I put it like between Leesburg, I mean, between Loudoun and Prince William County, you know, down 66 with a beautiful campus, something like a Virginia Tech, about 30,000 students, great, all those, programs. but I would have football um, and, well, and basketball. You know what I'm thinking? That's a good point. I think Front Royal, you know, or maybe out near DeForge Winchester would be, that'd be a great place. Yeah, because people could still get to a city, a major yeah. city. Um, and, and then I would, it would be our colors. Um, now my high school was green and gold, uh, like the Packers. Um, but I, I, my favorite colors are, are like blue. So like UNC or Colgan, my, my son's graduating from Colgan. So I like the dark blue, light blue, but kind of like that UNC thing. And then, um, we would, we would still, we'd be the Bruins because my high school, we were the Bruins. And, 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 and so we would be the Hudson Bruins in the ACC with these colors and we would dominate especially alden that would be a rivalry and no that that would be <laughs> we would, a crazy rivalry you know what we would have the best uh women's basketball team in the country and we would crush alden every year yeah and we give you, they give you they give <laughs> you they give you a 5 million dollar NIL deal um so <laughs> all right we haven't had a good snow in northern virginia i think it's been we had three feet at the beginning of 2016, but you're going to get some snow up there in uh, Loudonville. Um, what is it? Loudonville Township? Loudonville Village? That's where Sienna is. Sure. Yeah, I just noticed. Yes, yeah, Loudonville. But if you are snowed in for a weekend and you've got to watch movies or stream or binge watch, tell us about that. You're going to be watching TV the whole weekend, you know, eating popcorn. Mm -hmm. You can't go anywhere. Yeah, I'll I'll watch a lot of probably watch a lot of film first off. Just like no, just no, 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 no. That's okay, why no, she's so good. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'll, I'll, uh -huh. You talking about basketball film, right? No, okay. I'm just saying that's option number one. But then when that gets old, okay. I'll, and then that's I'll watch why she's so good. Can, uh, can, hold on. I I'm, I'm gonna get my son down here who's a senior at Kogan and he played football on his track. I that. That would have been my dream answer if he had said that, but go ahead. <laughs> I mean, that's that's just my go-to. But anyway, when that gets old, um, when I get tired of that, um, I'm big into, like, any sort of action movie, um, anything with, like, spies, car yeah. chases, superheroes. Cool. The, Italian, the Italian job. Yeah, anything no. that's, like, people are, like, rolling across the floor, like, gun to chest, like, peeking around corners. So anything you like, like Tom Cruise movies? Uh, Mission Impossible. Yeah, I'm. I wasn't big um, on Top Gun, but I like all the James Bond movies. Um, okay. All the Marvel movies. Um, and then Born, Jason Born. Yes, yes. Oh, Me and my dad, right. we binge those. Um, and then in terms of TV shows, I'll watch. Right now, I'm watching Bel Air. Um, what, is watching Bel -Air? what is Bel Air? What's That's the it? the revised uh, Fresh Prince. Oh, what what what's that on, by the way? What's it's that on Pe Peacock. Peacock. Oh, it's on Peacock. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, what about any other streaming? 
Do you watch a lot of stuff on YouTube? Because a lot of kids are watching. They get a lot of content from like non-traditional, like YouTube and podcasts or video podcasts. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't think I go on YouTube that much. Not just like if I'm trying to watch something. That's definitely not my first choice. Um, but yeah, I'm yeah. watching Ted Lasso right now. Oh yeah, we just started season three. My wife and I. Yeah, great show. I was, yeah. I was like skeptical at first. I was like. This does not seem like it's up my alley, but it's a great show. Right. Great, great show. Okay. That's all good stuff. All right. Um, Alvin, so again, we you have been an amazing guest. This, this is what we say, like, like, like Kirk said, like when we have young ladies, they always they, they, More they just the flow, relax. they're funny. <laughs> you know, guys are sitting here like rr, rr, rr. no, oh. you, you brought it. You brought it. So Thank listen. You. I am asking Brentsville District because y'all have a crazy great fan base. Uh, oh, and by the way, Coach Mike Tingen, you know, mm-hmm. Coach, he was one of my best friends growing up. We we were oh, okay. uh, in when well, we were in middle school in seventh and eighth grade. We were like a group of like if you ever watched like Little Rascals, that was us. Like <laughs> he was, I used to stay at his house and we played. He had the coolest parents. Um, but yeah, and I hadn't seen him because they moved away and we moved uh, when, when I was in the eighth grade, but I got to see him at, this, at your state championship game and I hadn't seen him in years. But coach, uh, attention, we used to play basketball all the time in the old neighborhood. But anyway, um, so yeah, I, I just wanted to, again, thank you for being on the show. I wanted to ask you, is there anything that you want to promote? Um, and, and and I was saying um, that you, you're going to get a lot of views because you've got such personality and that Brentsville family is terrific. Um, and so uh, I, I, is there anything though, anybody you want to give a shout out to a uh, coach, a family, anybody, uh, or, or just anything you want to promote? Um, I would say shout out to my family and my parents, my brother, um, my trainers. I got Darius Wilson with higher level training and then Deontay Steele, both great guys. Um, okay, yeah. definitely help, help me get here. Um, and then, yeah, I guess just stay tuned. Catch me at Sienna next year. And yeah, that's about it. We're going to see you mm-hmm. when you guys come down and play Mount St. Mary. We're going to go up there, Rusty. Right. I heard a lot of people from the family. So far. Yes, yeah, it's, it's less than an hour. It's uh, they got a, a nice arena. And I was just going to say to Brentsville Nation, uh, Coach, we have a episode with Coach Lauren White, and um, my Phoebus team has left three, so the doors open for you guys to win a state football championship because we're in four now, and we're going to ravage on. But Brentsville, you are going to win a state championship now. So, Rusty, Caitlin, to- Clark, you don't want this smoke. All right, Alden, I'm calling it. Alden, Caitlin, Alden's coming for you. All right, <laughs> she's coming for you. All right, Iowa, you don't want this smoke. All right, it Prince William County's finest. You might see us in the national championship next year. That's um, right. That's right. Oh I'm yeah, just... that's right. So y'all, hey, watch it. This is uh, this is our um, our version, the Prince William County version of Caitlin Clark, but only better. Uh, uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you and 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 you know this. We, don't just forget about us when, when you're you know. In college, and you get a chance, we'll go through the proper channels. But we'd love to, to catch up with how you're doing, and then um, and just you know, we, we we wish nothing but the best for you. Thank you, I really appreciate it. I, I had a lot of fun, and I definitely hope we could do this again. So. Yeah, when you're at Sienna, cool. you know, when you're at Sienna, we we'd love to do it. You tell us what's going on up there, okay? All right, yeah, cool. Sure. All right, so for uh, uh, Alden. Yergi, my co-host, Kirk, this has been the Kirk and Bird Show. Uh, we are out.